Hey there, Gamer Obscura here, continuing Plants vs. Zombies. I think we're on 3-4 now. And look at all the crap they're throwing at us. We got cone heads, bucket heads, scuba diving zombies, the pole vaulting zombies, newspaper zombies. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. They are not messing around anymore. So we gotta pull out all the stops here. We cannot let the zombies get to our house. And you'll notice now we have the Tangle Kelp. We got that as a reward from beating the last level. And we'll definitely show it off because it's a very useful plant. It's kind of like the potato mine for the water. You just put it out there and the zombie gets to it and instead of blowing up, they get dragged underwater. It costs the same amount of sun. So it's useful for that. Just buys you some time as you're trying to get your defenses taken care of here. And I mean, I'm just gonna go with the typical four sun here, four sun here. And repeaters and walnuts and all sorts of stuff. Not necessarily gonna see anything new other than the zombies. And you'll also notice we have three flags. So there's gonna be three huge waves. And that can become problematic. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's just something to be aware of as the game ramps up in difficulty. But we're doing all right here, we're sitting pretty. We got enough for a, a repeater. And I'll probably wait to plant that actually, because I should be able to get this potato mine out in time for this guy. But if not, we can get the repeater out there, so. Oh man. I mean, we're basically like halfway through the game, just about after the next level, because, I mean, there's five, five worlds, basically 50 levels, and we've already done 20, that's worlds one and two, and then the five levels of three, that would be the next five, 25 is half of 50, right? So it's kind of hard to believe we're already at the halfway point here, but there you go. He's blown up in this cone head, there's no way he's making it. And in watching... In watching videos of this now, since I've started recording this, I got curious. And it's almost 30 Ps for the Conehead guy. It's hard to count sometimes because you have too many. You'll have too many P things going, so they'll be getting hit in rapid succession. But yeah, it's gotta be close to 30 Ps for the Cone guy. So the bucket one's gotta be like 50 or 60. So... I don't know what I was thinking in the episode earlier in this playthrough where I said it I mean, it is 10 for a, a regular zombie, but it's definitely not 20 for the cone head, and it's definitely not 30 for the bucket head. So I don't know. I just, I had never counted before. I just assumed that's how it worked. And, well, that's what happens when you assume you end up looking like a dumbass. So, my bad. Oh, shit. All right, well, we got Conehead dudes coming into the pool. And that's not good. Well, actually... I think we'll be all right. I can get another repeater out here. I was gonna say, I can get a Tangle Kelp just so you can see it. But we'll save it for the scuba guys, because that's really what it's intended for. In the meantime, just collect all this sun. Here we go, first big wave. Not, yeah, it's not even just a big wave, it's a huge wave. Like, you had to have a huge wave! <laughs> That's bigger than big. You know, it's better than bad, it's good. It's bigger than big, it's huge. I don't even know, man. Ugh. <laughs> the newspaper guy! Oh, I love it. But yeah, as you can see, they're not really scuba, because they don't have any tanks, but the snorkeling... The snorkel zombie... They move quick. They move quick, but yeah, we'll just put the kelp there, and you don't have to wait for it to recharge or anything. Like the potato mine, like, you put it down and there it is. Like, it doesn't have to power up or nothing. So as soon as he gets close, it just grabs him and pulls him under. And that's that. Oh my god, I have over a thousand sun, why don't we start putting out... More repeaters. Because we are going to start seeing bucket heads. Shoot, that cone had almost made it. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
Actually, we're most vulnerable in the water. So why don't I just put the repeaters... We'll get two of them in the water first. Before doing anything else. Oh god, here we go. Oh, thank goodness. The bucket head showed up on the row with the walnut. But there we go. The poor walnut, like it goes from kind of smiling to just straight face. No! To frowning, pouting. It's sad. But yeah, I mean, look at this. I mean, this thing's probably already been hit by 20 or 30 peas, and the bucket's just now got a dent in it. Seriously, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, man. And, like, I feel so bad, because I've played this game so many times. And here I am talking like I know what I'm talking about. And it just looks stupid. Yeah, whatever. Just get him- just get him dragged in right away. There's no point letting him swim all the way across the pool. And then get dragged in. He doesn't deserve... He doesn't deserve to have a good time. Oh boy. I, I can't even collect the sun this fast, man. Holy crap. Oh, it's so peaceful. You get these moments of peace. It's like we're just waiting for these two zombies to die. So the next big wave can come. And it's like, you, it's when you have the little moment where you can just kind of take a breath, look at your setup, see if anything needs to change. You know, if you need to dig something up, and you've got just enough peace that you can make it happen, hopefully, if you have the sun for it. But, oh boy. Um, well, let's just do that. I mean, for crying out loud, I can almost start making... have three columns of... Repeaters. Let's let him. Oh, get the coin! Oh god, two bucket heads. All right, we gotta get rid of him. Because I mean, he, the bucket head's being shielded by these guys. So all that time, he's not getting hit. He's just getting closer and closer. And that's definitely something to be aware of in later levels when the zombies are getting stacked up. They're basically just being meat shields for each other. And it's... It can get pretty scary. I mean, these bucket heads, they're not gonna make it. They're not gonna make it, we'll be A-okay here. Or, or as Crazy Dave puts it, A-oh good. Nothing to be afraid of here. Shoot. But yeah, see, I mean, this bucket head zombie, he's already... a full square into my lawn... before he's even taken damage, so... He's gonna get an entire square further than he would otherwise. And then meanwhile, these guys are getting close. So actually, let's just do this. Let's let them stack up. Drag that guy under. Hey, the pole vaulting guy showed up on the same row as the potato mine from earlier. That's pretty nice. I always like, how long can the potato mine last when you plant it? On the very first square. Cause just you know, as soon as a zombie shows up, they're gonna get blasted. But then you get a pole vaulter guy that jumps over it. And it's like, what if the next pole vaulter guy came on that same row? Oh my goodness. Seriously, like I'm just hoarding sun here for no reason. Let's get this over with, man. This is ridiculous. And I mean it's only eight sunflowers. This isn't this isn't that outrageous. You know, the, the previous daylight level, I was only, I was getting 10 and I don't feel like I was hoarding this much sun. Oh, whatever, final wave, shoot! Oh, no! They're gonna eat the mine before it gets a chance to hatch. Well, it doesn't hatch, it's not an egg. Before it gets a chance to grow, is what I meant to say. Let's see, can we get two? Two for the price of one here with the squash? Because that can happen. I feel like they're close enough together. Yeah, there we go. Yes! Oh, finally. Finally. Finally, we get the key to the car. Now we can visit Crazy Dave's shop, which is run out of the back of his hatchback. You found my car key. You know what that means. Crazy Dave's Tiddlywinks is open for business. No, it's Twitty Dinkies. Let's see. Do we have anything? Hey, we can buy the eighth slot. Shoot. No, the pool cleaner. Oh, man. Dude. Actually, the double sunflower. I'm gonna buy the eighth slot. There we go. We'll get the pool cleaners next. 
And we'll just do the next level right now. Why not? Funny thing about the zombie process, sometimes it makes them come out real little- Yes! Real little and real mean! Defend your shins! <laughs> I love this one, they're so tiny, look at them! They're so cute! Now, the smaller zombies, they don't have as much health, but they are a little bit faster. I do believe. I could be wrong there. I could be wrong on, on both accounts, man. I don't even know anymore. Like, everything I thought I knew about this game is just out the window. Let's see. Yeah, see, two hits to get his arm to come off. That's not normal. Oh, boy. Let's see. You just gotta hope for pea shoot. Like, I, I appreciate getting cherry bombs and stuff. It is nice. But, I mean, I need something that's gonna provide some offense here. And, in fact, let's just do this because it's not happening. And we'll hope, thank goodness. Let's say we'll hope we get a pea shooter coming. To <laughs> the noise they make. Oh man. Alright, let's do this. Because you don't want those football guys getting too far. Oh man. I love these levels. The fifth and the tenth level of each world. Are some of my favorites. Because they're just they're just a nice little break from the norm. And they're just good fun. Alright, and there we go. Every row has a pea shooter on it now. So that is nice. And I mean, the walnuts, I'm gonna put in the pool. At some point, but there we go. Two pea shooters in the pool. Because that's our biggest weakness right now. Especially since I didn't buy the pool cleaners. I wanted that extra seed slot. Fat lot of good does me in a level where I can't even pick seeds. You know? But that's just how it goes. Alright, let's do that. Oh, shoot. Alright. Well, hold on here. Here, let's do this. Alright, football dudes are getting a little too far. We'll just cherry bomb them. Oh, boy. I want to save one cherry bomb, though. So we'll just put a nut out. Actually... Here, we'll do this. There we go. And then... Shoot! Alright, hold up. Don't let th I, I didn't even see those guys coming. That could have been disastrous. But there we go. We're set up pretty good here. A whole... It's like a whole column of walnuts there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. It's just spamming football guys. Here, let's let them stack up. And then we'll cherry bomb them. And just get rid of all of that. There we go, that worked out well. I have more pea shooters. Well, let's put them in the water. Put them in the water. There we go, and then... I don't know if we're gonna get enough, and I mean with a cherry bomb, as soon as this next wave comes, it's all over. Like, this is... It's unlosable, I would just have to dig up all the plants. And let them get me. There's no way I would lose this otherwise. But we'll just let them walk on a bit. Cherry bomb them. Actually, I have enough cherry bombs to just do this. Ha! And then we can do it again. Get them like before they're even on the screen. There we go. <laughs> I just love it when things go boom. And now we get the jalapeno. Destroys an entire lane of zombies. It's kind of like the cherry bomb. Only instead of like a circular blast area, it just takes out a single row. And you want it for these guys. The Zomboni. Zomboni. It's funny because when I go when I go ice skating, I constantly accidentally call him that thing the Zomboni. Because it's a Zamboni. But just from playing this game, I'm always calling it the Zomboni. Because I'm an idiot. But anyways, I think we have time for this level here. So, yeah, you definitely want the jalapeno, because those Zombonis, they drive onto your lawn and lay down a bunch of ice, and then you get the Jamaican bobsled zombies. Although they're not Jamaican, because their bobsled's red. But anyways, you get you get the bobsled zombies coming, and it's, you get, there's the bobsled itself, and then four zombies with it, and you, like, you don't want those things coming on the screen, man. They're just too much of a pain in the ass to deal with. 
So... These are useful. It melts the ice so that the bobsled can't show up. And, uh, the Zamboni is a big pain in the ass, that's all I have to say. And we'll get a plant eventually that makes very short work of them. So... They'll really only be a pain in the ass for this level. Yeah! So after this level, it won't be so bad. Just a little bad. But I mean, we're already on 3-6, so... It, uh, things are gonna start getting kinda scary here. Just a little bit. Actually, I can get some sun. And let's see. We don't have any snorkel zombies. So that's cool. Because you don't want to have the snorkel zombies. So that's why I don't have the kelp. Like, I just, I don't have to worry about the water as much. That's the good news. But... I'm just collecting the sun. I don't know where I want to plant my first repeater. I mean, I have the pea shooter just to have something that's inexpensive for emergencies, but I don't see myself planting it anytime soon. So we can just collect all this sun and get the repeater. So actually, let's do that. And now we're getting more than one zombie on the screen at a time, so... I guess we finally should plant something. It's just, it's such slow going early on in some of these levels. Oh, great. Sent two zombies at once. What the hell, man? Like, they're not even straight, staggering them by a little bit anymore. That's okay. It's A.O. good! Oh my god. Alright. I keep thinking I'm seeing a coin dropping and it's just the zombie's head falling off. Like, you can't look at everything at once, which gets maddening. And there's nothing worse than going to click a coin and it despawns right before you get to it. You know, the sun is well, it's more devastating to lose sun than the money. I mean, money is useful to a point. I mean, it depends how much of the game you want to play. If you're looking to, like, fully clear this game 100% to get all the achievements, you're gonna want that money. Because you'll have to buy every seed slot, every seed packet, and some of them get crazy expensive. So... I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to show. Might do a lot of this, you know, off-screen here. Towards the end. I mean, right now we're playing the main game. That's all... That's all getting left in. We're not cutting any of this out. But grinding for cash later on... Yeah, we don't... We don't need to see... <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. But, I mean, there's some things you just don't need to watch. Because, I mean, it's literally like watching grass grow. And... We just... I don't need to subject you to that. So... We'll just see... Oh, God. Here it comes. Here it comes. So, I might as well just... Might as well just use it. Bam, yeah, so that's what it does. It just toasts everything. <laughs> they turn to a pile of ashes. It's awesome. But this thing recharges really slow. Actually, I probably should have used the squash for it. Because that recharges a lot faster. But whatever. Whatever, by the time another one of those things comes, the jalapeno should be... should be usable again. I mean, the thing about the Zamboni is it'll just run everything over. Like, you can't put a walnut out to try and stop it. It just gets crushed. As it's laying the ice down. It just straight up runs over everything. And if it reaches your house, like, I don't the lawnmower... I'm trying to think if the lawnmower takes those things out or not. I mean, a lawnmower versus a Zamboni. I mean, who do you think would win? If I had to guess, I'd say the Zamboni just runs over the lawnmower. But I don't think I've ever let one get that far. Usually it's like the bobsled dudes that end up ruining your day. Shoot, man. Plant your repeaters, Gam. What the hell? Goodness. Oh, boy. Dude, no, we're fine. We're fine. Quit trying to make things seem so dramatic. It's not a big deal. Everything's fine. That wasn't money, that was a zombie's head. Oh my goodness, there we go. Two full columns 
of repeaters, and I still have 450 sun. And actually, honestly, I'm gonna get repeaters on the grass lanes instead of the pool. Because three repeaters might be able to might be able to mess up a Zamboni before it gets too far. But we'll see. Where's it coming? Let's see how far our thing can get. Let's just see. And then I'll squash it. Actually, we'll put the squash here just in case. Actually, didn't get that far. But yeah, this, this ice lane there. There's a potential for a bobsled zombie to show up. If these things live long enough. And they just might. So why don't we... Why don't we put our walnut... I kind of want to see if one shows up just so we can see it. Because it's kind of funny. They just come sliding in from off screen. And they go the whole length of that ice trail. And then when it runs out, the bobsled just like falls apart and they all jump out. But no, but didn't happen. And now we get the spike weed. And this will pop the tires of the Zamboni. And for some reason, when that happens, the Zamboni just blows up outright. And we'll probably get to see that next time. And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.